So let's just say you have a bunch of singers around one microphone and they're all decent but they're not fantastic singers. Well in this instance they are horrible singers and they were all placed around one single microphone. Basically they were laying down an idea and it was the only microphone I had open. If you think about it, Melodyne really gives you the control to have an ensemble type sound with a choir or a ensemble that has more than one part with one microphone. So enough of me babbling, let's take a listen to these horrible singers. So the first thing that might have caught your attention besides the horrible singing was this little bump here. So if I go to my edit pitch tool, we have our portamento or glide tool. And this will allow us to smooth out that area by clicking and dragging up. You're going to see as I drag up, it's going to really smooth out the pitch modulation. It kind of acts like a fade tool for pitch, not for volume. So the only thing left to do is to highlight all by right clicking, select all, and then with the edit pitch tool, double click. Another option is to save this as MIDI. So if we go up to file, go down to save as, we can now save it as a MIDI file. So where it says Melodyne project document, go down and select MIDI. And then let's change the file name from Mike to Mike MIDI. And that's it, now you have a MIDI file of this exact performance. So let's go ahead and add a third part. So we've done this a couple of times already, but let's do it again. So highlight the pitch, and we're in the standalone program, so we can press Command C to copy the pitch. And now, in the timeline, click and drag the cursor. This dictates where we place the new pitch. So this seems about right, so all we have to do now is press Command and V. Then click on the note and hold down Command while you do it to hear the chord. So if you want to extend it out and do it for another pitch, all you have to do is copy and paste again. So we can copy this note, Command C, and then we place our cursor and press Command V. Now we want this to sit a little better, so we have to use the timing tool to get it right. So right click, go to the timing tool, and move over to line up with the other pitches. So let's take a listen to how that sounds. Okay, let's try a different chord. That sounds like the right chord now. So there's two more things we have to think about. The first one of the two is getting these notes in time. So the first step is to right click and then select all. Then, to make it really easy on myself, I'm going to select the quantize time macro box. I'm going to move the dialog box over to the right so you can see what's happening with the pitches. So what I want to do is default to a quarter note. As you can see, it's already changing the interface to show you where the notes should be. If we take a closer look to this dialog box, we can see that there's a little checkbox for including notes we already manually edited, like this note here. Now, just click and drag the slider over to the right depending on how much quantization you want. With this particular file, I want to keep the performance intact. So I would say right about here is good. Obviously, 100% quantization is really rigid. So I would want to stick to around 8590. Then, click OK. So our notes are still out of tune. Yes, we tune them, but we don't have a consistent pitch. So that's why they gave us a pitch drift tool. If we right click and go to our edit pitch tool, Underneath that, two tools down, is the Pitch Drift tool. So if we right click and select all, and then right click one more time and go to the Pitch Drift tool, we can now click and drag up or down depending on what's going to even out our pitch. Now we have a totally finished file. Now imagine if you actually had good singers. Really, true to honest, very good singers. Your possibilities would be endless.